What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back with another video and this time I am doing another Love & Hip Hop Season 5 Episode 3 So 1, we pick up where we were left off with Safari and A1, you know, trying to fight each other or A1 trying to fight Safari and Safari is running, you know, all of that Just arguing about the whole thing with Lyrica and him messing around so he's not confirming or denying a1 is pissed which is very expected safari is just like you know it is what it is and how somebody that's wearing gold hair nail polish and glitter shoes is going to tell me i'm weak so i cracked up laughing because it was so funny i couldn't believe i'm like what like this entire episode everybody has been attacking <laughs> a1 and his pearls and his nail polish Princess in Paris is at this cast bowl thing like where they put the stuff on your stomach and Princess is telling Paris about the Norwoods and she was just explaining like how Ray put her to the side to go and talk to the Norwoods at the gender reveal party and she kind of called Paris out for not being there but she was like you know she was kind of she probably would have been glad she wasn't there basically saying that she would talk to Sonya, she'll probably eventually talk to Sonya, but she won't talk to Brandy. Because Brandy has like, she plays this whole innocent, nice role, but then she's texting her like threatening messages and stuff like that. So she was like, she would never talk to Brandy again. So when Princess was telling her that, she was just like, you know, she don't, she can't see Cinderella do, saying stuff like that and doing stuff. And I'm just like, you just call her Moesha. The first episode, and then you calling her Cinderella like, Ray J comes in and he's talking to Princess and he's apologizing for his and he's acknowledging his wrongs as a man should, you know, as anyone should. Really. They kiss, they make up, everything is fine and good and I'm not gonna get into the storyline because it's not really that important. So Prin um, Princess tells him about the whole thing with uh, her and Monice and how Monice threw a chair at her and I'm just like, technically she didn't throw it. So Ray was like, oh, she's throwing chairs at a pregnant woman. And she was like, yeah. He was like, oh, she got to get checked for that. So Princess said, you know, nah, I'm going to wait till like, in the two, you know, two and a half months. And I'm going to check her. So Ray was like, no, you need to stay home with your child and be a mother and not focus on that. And that's what you're going to be doing in two months. My problem with Princess, like, she tends to start things with people and then when she gets checked, that's why it's kind of hard to take her side when it comes to the Norwoods because you tend to start things with people. And then when they check you for it, you want to run and play victim all the time. Because Monique to just sit there and be, in, be quiet the entire time Why you invaded, uninvited, un you know, came to her girlfriend's fashion show and showed out. So Brooks, we're not really going to get into this show because I'm really like, I feel like I'm going to end up skipping Brooke's storyline like every time because I'm just like <sighs> but I'm glad she's showing this because it's, it'll help a lot of women you know get checked out and everything so it's just a good thing you know it brings awareness um, she says she's she feels bad for what she did to Lyrica because Lyrica did keep her secret last year so she feel bad about what happened she says at the beginning of her career her boobs was like all the way live it's affecting her now so she wants to get a breast reduction and get rid of it the doctor finds lumps in her breast so they don't know if it's cancerous or not i hope it's not i hope she's fine and okay you know because that's really serious you know? So Lyrica and her mom, now I'm breezing through this because I'm trying not to make this video too too long. So Lyrica and her mom, well Lyrica is at her mom's house unpacking and her and her mom sit down on the couch and they're talking about the whole thing with Safari. Lyrica and her mom are speaking and Lyrica was saying how K. Michelle brought up about the situation with talking about her and Safari and she was like, you know, she thought her and K. Michelle was friends. And Mama Lyrica was like, she was never your friend. I knew that from the start. She called K. Michelle a dirty B-I-T-C-H. While they're talking, she brings up about Brooke and, you know, other people bringing it up as well. And her mom was like, well, why are so many people bringing up this story? You know, with so many different people bringing it up, it would make it seem like it's something true about it. And then Lyrica was getting ready to start talking again. And her mom was like, well, didn't you tell me he sent you an inappropriate picture? And she was like, mom. I never said inappropriate. 
and she denied that that happened and just lied about it and I'm like girl it's like it's written all over your face so now I believe it in my last review I was like I didn't want to believe it I didn't believe it because I feel like she really do love A1 and A1 loves her but I believe it this this episode because <laughs> the way she's acting it started flipping out on her mom and she was just like you know you on the same thing with Kim Michelle and I'm not feeling it and she just started getting mad and flipping out on her mom and I'm like it gotta be some truth to it because why are you all of a sudden getting so mad like why are you so mad her mom is talking to her and whatever confident her and she just starts crying to about her and A1 is fighting being spoiled of course I mean every episode I'm going to remind y'all that she's spoiled and, I, and it did come out that he did send her an inappropriate picture and she wants to lie and deny about it so we are at Ray J's Raycon event and he made 31 million dollars from this business from his business and I think that is amazing I'm, I'm loving the fact that there's so many black people who are elevating so high you know what I'm saying and it motivates me and I'm sure other black people as well to feel like they can reach this milestone as well so it really just I, I'm just loving it like super Saint is like doing amazing you know so many people are doing great and it's really making me happy and it's making me feel like bitch I could do it too like, so it's, it's dope so congratulations to Ray J for that you know that's amazing and that's awesome and I hope that things like this continue and we see more and more people reach that milestone in their businesses and their business endeavors and really succeed A1 comes and him and A1 uh, him and A1 is talking about the whole, him running up on Safari at the meetup that they had. Safari was just saying it is what it is. I don't see, he was saying like he don't see A1 risking his pearls to run up on Safari. And I hollered because I'm like, I probably count on both hands how many times somebody says something about his pearls. I see Brooke and Bridget talking. And they're talking about, of course, Lyrica and Safari. Like, this whole entire episode was about Lyrica and Safari. And I feel like I'm about to get over it, and we only on the third episode. But they look at, they're talking about Lyrica and how Lyrica acted at the gender reveal party. It just shows Brooke a picture of Safari's nude. And Brooke was like, you know, Lyrica did say, you know, his meat was wrapped around his leg. And, and they saw the nude, and she was like, oh, wow, Lyrica, you saw the, you saw his area before anybody else did before this leaked apple watts pops up now i'm breezing through this <laughs> okay so apple watts comes and brooke knows her and brooke was like she's very talented she met her in the club you know and apple was telling them that she wanted to do a transition from stripping to music like she tired of dancing she wanted to do music now she's a guy by the name of producer songwriter every you know everything underneath the sun a guy by the name of rockstar comes and him and a1 is like going at it you know throwing shots and shade at each other and he was saying like he would kick a1 out of the studio a1 was carrying bags and so afterwards and i really did not like this rockstar guy and I, afterwards he goes and he meets up he walks up to brooke bridget and, and he was saying he just running down his resume to apple and stuff like that it was like he wants to he invited her to the studio he want to work with her because he heard them saying that she was working with a one he's like yeah you know it's good for you to branch out and work with different people you know i got j-lo fergie and all these different people he was mentioning like he was just too aggressive to me i feel like you come he was coming off a little bit too strong and aggressive and me as a person, if I was there, I would feel like, if I was in that moment, I would felt so uncomfortable to even talk to him. Who wasn't really feeling it at the beginning, like she knew what was up, but she was like, hey, you know, this man wants to work with me besides looking at my ass, so hey, why not do it? A1 and his mom is talking about Lyrica, of course. She was just telling him, you know, you need to move on and kind of work on and deal with you and work on you and leave Lyrica alone for a while and just focus on you and what you're doing and keep pushing. It was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I was thinking about doing that. In the midst of that, you know, Miss Pam, Mama Pam, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm get on Mama Pam because I'm about sick of her in these 1980s, I tweeted this, I'm sick of her in these 1980s prostitute wigs these outfits that do not agree 
somebody mama we ain't gonna do that where are you getting these wigs from like i it just it just really it makes me itch it feels it looks like the wigs have lice in it i mean it looked like she got it from the 99 cent and up wigs i i just miss lyrica walks in mama lyrica and she's just like you know she's over to my house she's crying she's hurting you know she's going through it and she was saying how she's coming to pick up some some of her things you are talking about her being hurt but you're not talking about him being hurt he didn't step out she did allegedly i mean he's hurt as well like you're not thinking about him being hurt or that's just being very one-sided like you know there was many different people that said it and she was like, oh, you're believing these other people that don't care about you. And, you know, you vow to her as your wife. Miss Pam throws the pot that had the cornbread, the cornbread mix in it and got all over A1. And I'm like, you were supposed to throw the pot at her, not at your son. Miss Lyrica gets the chair and she's charging after Miss Pam and trying to hit her with the chair. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, not these two again. A1 kicks Mrs. Lyrica out <laughs> and he kicks his mom out. He's like, oh, you gonna kick me out? You should kick her out. He said, I'm kicking both of y'all out. So when A1 kicks his mom out, she was saying how ever since he's gotten here, he's been with Lyrica, he's been very Hollywood. Then she's saying how Lyrica and her mother is Illuminati. And I was like, Alu Illuminati, Illuminati, or Illumin like I don't know which one she was referring to. Wh which one? So Brooke and Marcus meets up, and he gets out of the car. He was like, "I'm here, you know. I don't want to talk about Stasi or anything." And Brooke tells him that she's not there to talk about that. He found some lumps in her breast. The doctor found some lumps in her breast, and he was asking, "Was it cancerous?" And she don't know. She hopes not, and she just asks for him to be there. I mean, you know, I understand that she love him, but I feel like it's not fair because you're using this to get him back. So, I mean, I'm not really feeling this. I'm, I'm not really feeling that, like, at all. So, Apple and Rockstar meets up in the studio. She, she just gonna get straight to the point. Like, as soon as she sat down, he was just like, you know, okay, I want you to give, I want to hear something from you. And she started rapping and I, I, I didn't feel that freestyle. Like, so I wasn't feeling that freestyle at all. I was a little, I was like, girl, what is this? Like, ugh. So I'm tired of them making her freestyle. It's like, give her a beat, let her rap to it. Like, I do not want to keep hearing her freestyle acapella. Like, give her a beat and let her rap. But I'm sure that if she sits down, she listened to a beat and she writes her thoughts and really go through it i feel like she can really do something because like he said he was right you know it was a little bit rough you know i have this one thing is a one and you could see in apple's demeanor she was just like yeah i don't know so a one he's major league and a one he used to kick him out of the studio to make the adults work in so many ways so i felt like it was a little bit disrespectful and unprofessional and I love the way that Apple handled it. Because she was just like, you know, I don't know what's going on between y'all two or what's y'all beef. But I'm not going to get involved with that. And you're not going to use me to get back at him. That's not how I roll. That's not how I get down. So she shut that down quick. And that's something I respected because he really was trying to use her as a pawn to get back. At A1. And you know, she's just going to stick with A1. She's done. And then after the end of that, this idiot says, oh yeah, he hit that before I got a chance to. And I'm like... That's so unprofessional and distasteful as hell. Like, if anybody works with you after seeing that scene, yeah, I don't know. It made me very uncomfortable. And seeing, like, her as a woman, it made me uncomfortable to see her even around a person like him. Like, for him to say something at the end, it's just like, so that's what you were hoping to have sex with her and... Bridget is opening for K. Michelle and she's very grateful and thankful for it and you know Bridget was on time. So Kate comes out and she performs her set. Working and her body is just like, it's, it's, while she's saying yes her body is saying no. So she's working and her body is not agreeing with it. It makes me feel bad for Kate, like I really do feel bad but she's in a very good condition now so that's perfect and that's wonderful sits there and Paris comes in and giving her encouraging words and telling her how good she was and then next thing you know Miss Lyrica walks up 
trying to get inside of the dressing room and the security is just not letting her in at all. He is just getting irritated and she started yelling K Michelle's name and Paris was like, why is she yelling? Like, what's wrong with her? So Kay was like, tell her I'm asleep. Tell her I'm asleep. So Paris goes outside to talk and see what was going on. And she was like, I need to talk to K Michelle. She's lying. You know, she's lying on my daughter and all of this stuff. So Paris was like, that's a blessing that she, if she, you know, ain't your daughter messing with Safari? She was like, she's not messing with Safari. What are you talking about? And Paris was like, that's a blessing. Like, and she was like, how is that a blessing? Why would you say that? Like, why is that, why is that a blessing? And she was like, because he's street. And I'm like, oh God. Like, that was the highlight of the show. Paris has a very good personality. So I see why she's like friends with a lot of celebrities. Because Paris is funny. Moving the gate, trying to get to Paris. She was putting her hands in Paris' face. And Paris was like, watch your hands, mom. Like, watch your finger. Did she come dressed up looking... I, I don't know what she had on. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, at least her wigs are a little bit together. They're way more together than Pam's wigs. You know, I, I just I couldn't take it. So, Ray J comes up and he's going inside of Kim Michelle's dressing room to talk to her. Lyrica was like, "I'm going in with Ray J. I'm with him, Ray J. I'm with you." Like she read that Lyrica is on this Hollywood LA stuff and she's just not on it. Monique comes to congratulate. K on her performance and her and Ray bump into each other and Ray was like you know you throwing chairs at pregnant women now look I know I said in the, my I think my first it was the first review where I was like I didn't like the fact that A1 went and addressed K Michelle the way that he did I really love the way Ray handled this situation because he wasn't trying to discredit Moniz, he wasn't throwing shade at her already. So he was like, you know, you throwing chairs at pregnant women, like you ain't right, that ain't right. And she was like, you know, why do your wife get a pass to do crazy things to people? He was just more concerned of why she did it. And she was like, I didn't throw the chair at her. You know, I had enough time to sit and think about it. And I'm like, you better think about it. I mean, if I was Moniz, I probably would have threw it. So A1 goes to meet up with his mother and what a surprise, his brother pops up. His brother is sitting there with his mom. So he was like, you know, I'm going through what I'm going through in my marriage. And my brother didn't even let me know that he was here. But he said he think that his mom ratted him out, putting her out. They sit down and he was just like, oh, you got some... His brother, like, immediately wasn't like, how you doing, bro? You know, I'm happy to see you. I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through. Your marriage, like, wasn't even... He wasn't even being like considerate of this man's feelings and what he was going through. He was just like, you got some explaining to do. Why would you kick our mom out of your house? What happened to Floyd? What to my brother before the nail polish, the pearls, hair. Did y'all leave this man pearls alone? Like, leave, just, just leave him alone. So this entire episode, he was getting like his pearls. I feel bad. I mean, because he wasn't even wearing his pearls. Cam was really enjoying the fact that her sons were going back and forth. Every time you and Lyrica get, I could see if he threw you out and not, you know, Mama Lyrica. Like, he threw both of y'all out for one, you got cornbread mixed all over his house and I'm sure you didn't even clean it. Through the pot, the, the, it landed in his eye, in his hair. Like, I would be irritated too. So, they start fighting. They trying to fight. The brother's squaring up. He just like they literally was going at it with each other. They won charges to try to get to him. Security ain't having it. And Pam was like, y'all not finna do this over no bitch. Like, so she tells him, you gonna listen to me. You need to leave Lyrica. She means she's no good for you. When are you gonna wake up? This is not gonna help him get over Lyrica. It's just gonna draw him to her even more. So you gotta let him deal with this situation on his own because if he does leave her and do what everybody is telling him that he should do once he do it and he starts regretting it he's going to be blaming everybody except himself he's going to point to everybody for encouraging him to leave his wife when he could have fixed it and worked it out or came to a resolution or got closure the proper way so you got to let him deal with it on his own he'll come around if it's meant for them to divorce they'll divorce if not they won't so we come to the end where Ray J and Safari meets up. Safari was just denying, denying the whole thing with him and Lyrica. And Ray finessed him out of the truth. And he was just like, you know, she already admitted to it. For them two to work out, she admitted that it happened. And he was like, well, 
Because at first, he was, Ray was like, you know, it was said that it happened like once or twice. He was like, oh, it never, nothing never happened once or twice with anybody. That. But when Ray finessed him, which was very smooth, I applaud Ray for that. Because <laughs> that was very smooth and it worked. He admitted to it and he was like, well, it, yeah, it happened. You know, we was texting each other like, hey, I miss you, you know, let's get on this song and stuff like that and it just happened. Wrong, like why would you do that? Why would you sleep, mess around with his wife, you know? Safari shouldn't be the only one to get the heat because Safari isn't married. Lyrica is. And even though him and A1 is friends, him and Lyrica are very, they're wrong and they both should get the heat for what they did because it takes two. Yeah, that was my Love and Hip Hop Hollywood review. I hope you guys liked it. Loving this season, you know, because last season was a little bit boring to me but i'm really enjoying this season i'm loving the drama the mess just everything i'm enjoying it so comment below what you guys think of this episode and i will see you guys in the next one peace